In this course, we're gonna build view application from scratch. And to build this application, we will use so-called Composition API. Also, to style our application, we're gonna leverage the power of CSS framework Tailwind CSS. And before we start, let's take a look on the final application. The app is called OnTrack and will allow you to track your activities during the day. For example, for every particular hour in a day, we can specify particular activity. In my case, I don't have any activities yet, so let's switch over to the next tab, Activities. And here we can add some activities. Let's add a few. I'm going to add my activities, that is reading, training, and coding. As we can see, next to every activity item, we see a drop-down where we can choose how much time we'd like to spend on this activity every day. Let's say I would like to read 30 minutes in a day, work out for about one hour, and for coding, I will choose three hours. And then, from the timeline screen, I can choose any activity that I just added in Activities tab. And then start stopwatch, which is going to track the time for that particular activity. This time will be synced automatically with all three tabs at the bottom. When we switch to the second tab, we can see the time for the reading activity is going down. And there is also one more tab called Progress. Here we can see all our activities and our current progress for every activity. We can also see in percentage how much time was spent on all activities. In regards to the total amount of time that we have previously chosen for that activity. And those progress bars are also updated in real time. You may have also noticed a little label at the top right corner which says progress. That number shows our total current progress. And if we complete all our activities, or if there will be no activities at all, then the text of that label will say day complete. An activities page will show a placeholder image with a little description. The same goes with the third tab. Here we can also see a placeholder image. So let's get started with installing view application. To initialize an empty view project, we're gonna run this npm init command in our terminal. Once we run this command, it will ask us a few questions about our project. Since we're going to use pure composition API without any additional libraries, we're gonna answer no on almost every questions except last two. Whenever we are asked if we'd like to use ESLint and Prettier in our project, we're gonna answer yes. Both those tools will help us maintain good code style and formatting. And after this comment is done, we are presented with four additional comments that we have to run step by step in order to launch our application. Firstly, we're gonna go into our project folder. In my case, it is called OnTrack and run npm install to install npm dependencies, then run npm run format to format project files, and run npm run dev to run development server. So let's do it. I'm gonna go inside of OnTrack folder, here install npm dependencies. After all dependencies are installed, we're gonna format project files, and at the end, let's run development server. And eventually we will see the address by which we can access the project in the browser. I'm gonna open this address in Firefox browser, and here I see the default screen for the view application. After we made sure that we can access view application, it's time to install Tailwind CSS. Let's open up Tailwind CSS docs. Here we will choose the option to install Tailwind in one of the frameworks. In our case, we're using Vite. So open up this page. And on this page, we have to choose option using view. And then let's step by step follow the instructions listed on this page. We can skip the first step since here we need to initialize with project. In our case, we have already done so. And on the next step, we need to install a couple of npm dependencies, Tailwind CSS itself, plugin post CSS, as well as auto prefixer. Let's copy these comments, switch over to the terminal, and run them. Besides installing all necessary npm dependencies, these comments will also generate a couple of configuration files, one of them is for Tailwind CSS, called Tailwind config.js, 
Another one is for PostCSS. Called PostCSS Config JS. Let's go to the next step. Here we have to modify the content of Tailwind Config JS file by replacing existing option called content. Let's copy the value of this content option from here. Go to our editor, open up Tailwind Config JS file, replace existing content option with a new one. In this option, we have to specify the files where we're gonna use Tailwind CSS classes. And then Tailwind will scan those files and build up resulting style sheet. On the next step, we need to include Tailwind CSS in our CSS file. Let's copy over those three directives. Open our main CSS file called main CSS, which already contains some initial content. We'll remove everything and leave only those three directives to include Tailwind CSS. And by now everything should be ready to use Tailwind CSS in our project. We just need to start development server by using command npm run dev. In my case the server is already running, so I need to stop it first by pressing Ctrl C and then run it again with npm run dev. And finally let's check if Tailwind CSS classes will work. We will copy the following code snippet, which already contains a couple of Tailwind CSS classes. And then inside of editor, let's open up the main component called app.view. We don't need any default content, so let's remove everything inside of this file and leave only that code that we have just copied. And now in the browser, if we're gonna see the hello world heading with an underline, that means that Tailwind CSS classes are properly applied, so Tailwind CSS was successfully installed. Now let's do a few more installations that are going to simplify our development. Firstly, we install VS Code extension called Prettier. This is the formatter which is gonna help us format our code inside of VS Code. I do not see this install button since I have already installed this extension before. And also for better view support in VS Code, we're gonna install one more extension called View Language Features or Volar. This extension is gonna provide view intelligence features. I already have this Volar extension installed, so I just need to enable it. And now let's see if formatting is working properly. In the command panel of VS Code, let's run command called format document ways. Here we just choose a preferred formatter, and as we can see, the file was properly formatted. And since we're gonna use a lot of Tailwind CSS classes in template files, it will be good if Formatter could also sort those classes for us. Luckily, there is a plugin for Prettier called Prettier Plugin Tailwind CSS. This plugin will automatically sort Tailwind CSS classes whenever we will apply formatting with Prettier. So let's install this plugin. Now let's see if our classes will be sorted properly. We'll change the order of classes in here. And now if I press keyboard shortcut to format this file, we will notice that class order was also changed. At the end of this lesson, let's remove extra files from our project. We'll remove the following files. Base CSS, logo.svg. We don't need all components located inside of icons folder. Let's completely remove this folder. As well as remove these three components, hello world, the welcome, and welcome item. And now we end up with only one CSS file, main CSS, that only has directives to include Tailwind CSS. The components folder is currently empty, we only have one main component, called app.view. Before finishing up, let's also install helpful extension to develop view applications, called Vue.js DevTools. I use browser Firefox, so I search for add-on called Vue DevTools, and from here we can install Vue.js developer tools in Firefox browser. For me, it's already installed. And to check if it works, let's open up DevTools. And here we should see additional tab called View, which is that extension View DevTools. And with that, we're finishing up this lesson and continue development in the next one. Repository link for this project will be in the video description.